All right, everyone, we have head coach Mark Fox here with us. We'll open it up with his comments on tonight's double overtime win. Uh, you know, it was, a, it, was a, it was a really a game that, as you look back at it, we'll be thankful we were in a double overtime game and had the experience. Um, I think it's a game that can really help us grow. But we'll also look back and, and be very disappointed in how we put ourselves in that position. Um, you have to give their team a lot of credit. Um, they really out-physicaled us. Um, through much of the game until um, until we went to a lineup late, which had never even practiced together uh, with Sam, uh, Grant, and Andre together. And um, unfortunately, that group, uh, really led by Sam's defense, was able to, to, to get us some stops. And then obviously, Andre uh, had a career night. And um, he hadn't practiced the last two days, so he probably won't want to practice the next two either. But, um, you know, had a lot of guys make some plays late, which was, was good to win. We'll open up the questions for Coach Fox. Trace, yeah. start with you. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned Sam's defense. What went into that decision to put him on uh, night there? Well, we just needed to be more physical. You know, um, you know, Jalen, who who has has probably not played as well at the start of this year as he did at the end of last year, uh, because he's recovering from a surgery, just not quite the same. Jared Hyder is 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 in the same boat. They're just not quite back healthy. Um, and so, you know, they're, they're maybe not as, as physical as they will be in, in a month or six weeks. And so uh, we were having a real hard time with that kid's strength. And um, Sam is a very strong and powerful young guy. And, and um, so we went with that lineup and he did a great job. Yeah. And you mentioned Andre having a career night as well. And you said he hadn't practiced for the past couple of days. What did he do in particular that impressed you tonight? Well, I think that, that um, you know, he had an ankle sprain, obviously, in the last game. And, uh, and until this afternoon, the swelling was, was still, was still um, apparent. So he finally, we finally got the swelling out of it, and he felt good enough for warm-ups to play. But I, I think the thing that Andre has great hands, and he can – he can score facing the basket with jump hooks, uh, putbacks. Um, you know, I think he, I think he had a very productive night. Uh, I think he's, I think he can still play a, a, a lot better. Quite honestly, um, I think he could play a lot better. But um, he's just been through enough adversity, a, 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 as has Grant, that when it came down to it at the end, they're like, okay, we've been through enough. It's time to win. And um, and he made some some really critical plays. Question from Rob Wang, right from California. Hey, Coach, over the last few games, it uh, looks like offensively you guys are looking for the mid-range to the long two. Is that something that you're implementing and, and see as a strong suit of where you can score some points um, on the offensive side of the ball? Well, I think we shot 25 or 26 threes tonight. Um, uh, I think that, that you have to take what the defense gives you. Um, you know, we're not hunting the long two. Uh, that's not that's not something that that uh, that that we that that's high on a priority list. But if the long two is the best shot available, you have to be you have to be willing to take it. Um, but I think that that um, we didn't play well offensively. We just threw the ball out of bounds or just threw it right to them four or five times. I mean, just some bonehead plays. And 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 we have to be more mature in our approach to the game. We have to be more physical when we run offense. Um, but you know, I think that that. Uh, Shot selection would, would not be something I'm, uh, I'm going to be real critical of tonight. I think our overall execution offensively to start the game was very poor. Question from Justin King, Bailey Cow. Hey, Coach. Uh, the penetration slash inside play of Knight gave you guys some trouble throughout the game, where he had 16 first half points on 7 of 9 shooting. Yet, he went 5 of 14 the second half. Uh, what did you guys do differently? We put Sam on just found a guy that was strong enough to guard him and physical enough to guard him. And, and I thought Sam Alajiki came in and changed the entire game. Um, we finally found someone that could match up with his strength. Now, that kid is powerful. Um, and, uh, and give their team credit, man. They played, they played really well. Um, he's, he's a matchup nightmare for us. And, and um, I think once Jalen gets back to being Jalen, I think that had been, you know, a, a great matchup for him, but he's just not quite himself yet. But Sam came in and that was the difference. One more question from Jake Curtis. Yeah, you sort of touched on this before, but was there any doubt in your mind that Andre was going to play tonight? You know, 
I thought yesterday, um, you know, he, he, uh, he tried to go through the stretching with us and he, well, actually two days ago, he tried to do our team stretch and couldn't make it through it yesterday, he made it through the team stretch. And, and our trainer said to me yesterday, I, I can get that swelling out by game day. And, and to his credit, he did. And so I thought he would play. If I, if I had to pick, I would say, yeah, I thought he would have played, but you know, until they tell you, you don't know. All right, everyone, we have freshman Sam Alajiki here with us. We'll open it up for questions. Uh, feel free to jump in the chat for whoever wants to go first with Sam here. Trace, we'll start with you. Yeah, Sam, good to see you out here. Um, how did it feel? Was this the longest game you've ever played in? At the, at the college level, yes. At other levels, no. But, um, yeah, I think it was a good game. I think it really showed, like, how well we conditioned ourselves preparing for the season, and, yeah. I think we kept our poise when it mattered. Yeah, and you had the defensive assignment on a night there. Um, what did Coach Fox tell you about as far as checking him? It seemed like he did a real good job on him. I mean, uh, we saw he was a physical player, and, yeah, I just was fit as physical as he was, or maybe even more physical. You know, I had three blocks on him in the game, and, yeah, I think I did a good job on him when I was on him. And what did you see from Andre tonight? He uh, he kind of saved you guys, as Grant said before. Um, Andre was amazing. Um, I mean, he shows us every day that he's a great player. Yeah, he did what great players do. A couple questions from Trace Travers for Grant. Yeah, Grant, uh, you had the shot there with uh, seven seconds left in the overtime in the first overtime. What was? Can you walk us through your thought process there? Yeah, um, I think it was the one where I shot the step back. Um, mm -hmm. He held it past it to me, but he was aggressive and got into the defense and drew my man, um, gave it to me, and then um, I was just able to play off of his off of his off the closeout and just get to an open space and just uh, make a shot. Luckily, it went down. Um, and yeah. yeah, and how Andre had a monster game today. How how was it playing next to him today, and what did you see from him? Um, yeah, it was awesome. Um, he saved us a lot of times, getting defensive rebounds, offensive rebounds, putbacks, um, making baskets when we need to. Um, he, he had a terrific game um, and, you know, really, really helped us get over the line at the end. We couldn't have done it without him. Awesome. Thank you. Question from Jake Curtis. Yeah, Grant, what's your overall assessment of how the team played tonight? Um, I think we made a lot of mistakes um, that were unforced on our part. Um, Obviously, you know, we competed at the end of the game to um, pull through the win and make some plays. But I think um, there are a lot of plays throughout the course of the game that we can avoid um, making turnovers, defensive lapses, things like that, that will um, prevent us from getting into that spot where we have to fight like that at the end. Um, so one thing Coach stressed to us was, you know, not making so many mistakes at the beginning of the game so that at the end of the game we find ourselves in the position that we're in. Question from Justin Kim with the Daily Cow. Hey, Grant. Uh, you guys had a slow start to the first half, not scoring till under the 14-minute mark, yet you guys still bounced back. Was this a matter of more effort or just better execution on plays? Um, I think just towards the end of the game, um, I think we competed. We, we got some stops and uh, made some shots. Um, but like I said before, um, if we made those plays at the start of the game, then we wouldn't have found ourselves in that position at the end of the game. So that's that's something that we've got to work on is uh, playing for the whole 40 minutes and having a good start to the game. Question from Rob Wayne with Ray for California. Hey, Grant. Uh, is this the longest basketball game uh, you've ever been a part of? And uh, how was it? Uh, how did you guys pull it out stamina-wise? Because it looked like the other South, uh, Southern Utah made some mental errors in, you know, giving up the ball and passing out of bounds. Um, and you guys capitalized on that. So, Yeah. Um, I think this would have to be the longest game I've played in. Um, maybe in high school, I played a double overtime game once, but um, yeah, this is probably the longest game I've played in. Um, and yeah, towards the end, um, you know, we were just able to close it out and make plays in the last few minutes of the game. Um, they made a, made a couple of areas which helped us out. Um, and then we were able to convert to the offensive end and get a couple of stops when it mattered. Um, so yeah. Uh, 